it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Carity Unicorn Dreams palette. I'm going to be doing some swatches and talking about how I feel. I also show you how I get this very ethereal look. So if you are interested to see how I got this look or how this palette performs, then please keep watching. Alright, so today we are going to be reviewing the Carity Unicorn Dreams palette, which I got this for $14 because they were having a sale. It's currently on sale for $19, but it does retail for $25 on their site. I will link it in the description box below. I also purchased their Nudes and Rudes palette. This is the $15 eyeshadow collection. I got this one for my kit because everybody wants a neutral eye. Uh, but I got this one for my kit. It's their Nudes and Roots 15. This one also retails for $25. I'm not going to swatch this or anything because again, it's for my kit. However, we are going to be swatching this unicorn palette. This is the box for it. It is like this periwinkle color. It has a holographic unicorn on it. And on the back, it has all of the shades that you can preview without opening the box, which I think is great. It has their hashtags as well as their handles and all of that. This is the palette itself. It is very much just like the box. When you open it up, protective plastic. It has a super nice clear mirror, which is great for if you're traveling with this. And then it has your 15 colors right here. This is a palette of mixes. It doesn't have all mattes or all shimmers. It has some mattes, shimmers, and satins, uh, which I think is really, really nice um, for a palette because it's a little bit more versatile than having like all shimmers, all glitters, all uh, mattes. Well, I think a palette of all mattes is always the way to go, but um, it doesn't have any like glitters though. It doesn't have any pressed glitters, just shimmers. The pan sizes are fairly large, uh, so what? If you're paying full price for this, what does that come out to? You're paying about $1.66 for each pan if you're paying full price. I paid a dollar a pan, about a little less. We are going to do some swatches before we get into the eye look to see how this performs. Carity, a uh, little background about Carity. I believe it's an independent brand. They've really just recently like taken off in Instagram and Facebook and kind of um, they're getting to be a lot more widely known. They're known for having highly, highly, highly pigmented eyeshadows that work on all skin tones. So I am extremely... Uh, anxious to see how this performs in terms of swatches and in terms of an eye look because I, if you've watched my channel before, love, love, love colorful eyeshadow palettes. I love color, hence my hair. Mystical, Sky, Gallop, Spark, Your, ooh, that's pretty, Noah, Fairy tale believer. Ooh, that one's nice. Main secret forest forbidden sparkle magical. Whoa, that one's nice. Hooves. So that was the palette, or those were the palette swatches. Um, not really impressed by the finger swatches, however, I feel like that you can never really tell the power of a palette by a finger swatch because you're not always applying the eyeshadows with your finger itself. So I am excited to dive into this palette and start. I don't know what kind of a look I want to go for though. Um, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of purple looks, so I think maybe we're going to do green. Maybe. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with this Gallup color, and I'm going to use that as a transition shade only because I, when it swatched, it did not swatch all that great. So it's kind of light, so I'm hoping that maybe it'll be a lighter shade. All right, I'm using an M, a Morphe M531, and I'm putting the Gallup above my crease, pretty much underneath my brow bone. Yeah, that's a nice winter mint shade. All right, now I'm going to be taking a Mikasa E300, and I'm going to take this matte shade 
guy. And I'm actually putting that directly in my crease. Ooh. Ooh. It's frosty, but it showed up to play, that's for sure. The shadows are going on really, really nicely. They, there's not too much kickback on the palette itself. I'm getting, um, I'm using some fluffier brushes, so those tend to break up the powders a little bit more, but it's not like I'm hitting pan on the first try. They're blending really, really nicely. The pigments there, they build really, really well. Yeah, I'm not disappointed. I think I want to, like, make this outer corner, like, blue. So I think I'm going to go in with Fairy Tale, and I'm using an e.l.f. blending eye brush. Mm. That might not have been the best decision. I should mention I've already prepped my eyes too with Tarte Shape Tape and I've already set them with a light setting powder. I'm having trouble with this blue color. It's a lot more chalky than I'm anticipating it being. We're working with it. We're rolling with it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to now go in with mystical and I'm gonna put that all over the lid I'm using an elf eyeshadow stipple brush however I might end up just going in with my finger and packing it on I didn't put any concealer underneath this because I wanted to kind of see how it performed on its own I think I'm going to do my other eye and then we will come back to see maybe what else the eye is lacking although I'm not disappointed it's a lot more frosty and not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think I, my expectations were just a little different for these blue colors. So let me finish the other eye and we will be back to finish the face. Okay, so I did my other eye. I quickly slayed a face, if you will, and now we're going to focus on the lower lash line and the liner. <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is take a turquoise or a blue liner. I don't know which one I want to take. Oh, I think I'm going to go with the turquoise. This liner is by Ofra. It is turquoise. It is the Ofra eyeliner and it is in the color turquoise. And what I'm going to do is just very lightly is line my lower lash line as close to the lashes as I can get. Uh, because I don't want this to look sloppy, although I need my bottom lashes to be defined because this eyeshadow is not as dark or as, it's not, it's pigmented, it's just super frosty. It's like Gatorade Frost Line for eyeshadow. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker or pigmented, and it is pigmented, it's just a lot more pastel than I was anticipating. So we're going to take this eyeliner and we're going to line my lower lash line and I'm probably only going to take it about halfway in to the lash line itself. Then I'm going to take an e.l.f. precision blending brush and I'm going to take this color Noah, N-O-A, is that how you pronounce that? Noah, Noah, No. And I'm going to lightly buff that out. And we're going to see how this looks because this is more of a periwinkle color than blue or green, so... Nope, don't like that. Alright. <laughs> Just clean that off. We're going to take Sky. That is the color that we put in our crease. And I'm just lightly buffing that along the lower lash line. Kind of helping to diffuse the harshness of the liner pencil. Alright, then I'm going to take Gallop on a Morphe E17 and I'm just going to bring that color down even more. Like we're gonna make it super duper smoky. Maybe smoky is the wrong word. Maybe more like we're making it super duper ethereal. Now I'm going to do a quick wing. Just something really small. Um, on the top I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner Pen. And then I'm going to pop on some, pop on, and then I'm going to put some mascara and pop on some lashes off camera. I'm going to be using the Demi Wispies and the Butter London Double Decker Lashes, and then I will be back to give my final thoughts. Alright guys, so here is the finished look. Super pretty, super ethereal, very frosty, very unicorn-esque, if you will. I added a 
dark purpley glimmery shimmery lip I will link all of the products that I used in this video in the description box below but final thoughts on the unicorn dreams carity eyeshadow palette uh, for the price that I paid for it for $14 I am NOT disappointed with this palette at all um for 25 though uh, I feel like some of the mattes are a little chalky and I think that's because they're pastels because uh, as I've been learning and as I've been researching and all these other things to make a pastel eyeshadow you obviously have to mix it with white and that just makes the pigment and the texture really really chalky and sometimes it does not show up as well as you think it does however that's just with the blue toned eyeshadows that I was using these purple like this corner down here as well as these browns those swatch incredibly well and I understand like swatches aren't everything because you use brushes not your fingers however I am going to be extremely extremely excited to try out these purple tones because lately I've been noticing that a lot of the purples that I've been buying in terms of eyeshadows have been extremely dark like they almost have a black or a blue base pigment and that's not what I want from a purple eyeshadow I want it to be bright I want it to be vibrant I almost want it to have a pink base rather than like a blue base so I'm super excited to try out these purple tones because I think that they are going to be amazing especially for every day like these mauve tones is pretty much where I live on a day-to-day -day basis because they're easy mauve looks gorgeous on everybody and it doesn't make you look tired like a brown does sometimes I think that brown makes a lot of people look tired but I think that mauve is kind of like a really good brown alternative especially for mature skin and mature faces if you're looking for a little bit more of a neutral eye but you don't want to look tired mauve is where it's at pinks are where it's at however the way this mystical performed this shimmer lord help me I am living for that it is so so nice really nicely pigmented went on really really well with my finger not so much with a brush uh, but it might have just been the brush that I was using. I don't have any of my flat synthetic brushes clean. So, we womp on that. And I did not use concealer under this either. I just went straight on and like just poop right onto my eye. So, with that being said, could you imagine if I had concealer underneath that to see how much more it would pop? Ugh. So, not disappointed for $15, wouldn't even be disappointed for $19 or $20. That extra $5, eh, it kind of gets a little dicey in my opinion whether this palette is worth it for $25. However, compared to a higher end brand where, you know, any of them, I'm not necessarily thinking of one in particular, where you might not be getting as many colors and the pans might not be as big or the pigments, you know, you might be getting all shimmers or no mattes, or all shimmers or all mattes. You know, I feel like for the versatility that this palette is, $25 isn't a bad price. I think after using it, I would just have a hard time paying $25 for it when I got it for $14. So, that's what I feel. I feel like this is a really nice versatile palette for pastels. If you like a lot of bright, light, ethereal looks, this is the palette for you. They also have a peachy palette that is the same 15, well it's not the same, it's 15 shades. They're like peachy toned neutrals. However, that palette only had three matte shades and the rest were shimmers and I just can't get into that in terms of peach and neutral tones. I prefer more matte shades. So I forewent that, but this I am not disappointed with at all for $14. I would recommend it to beauty lovers. Maybe if you use the same shadows every day, not so much, but if you are one that likes to kind of experiment with, you know, different looks or, you know, you like, uh, if you kind of live in this like purpley brown, neutrally toned you know, palette on a day-to-day -day basis, this would be a really great palette for you too. You don't necessarily need to like wild and crazy looks. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts. I liked it. This was my first Carity purchase. I'm excited to use my Nudes and Roots in my professional kit. Have you guys used Carity at all? Do you own the Unicorn Dreams or any of their other products? 
Let me know in the description box below with any recommendations that you would want from Carity. I think I'm definitely going to be ordering from them again. I think moving forward, I really want to start uh, supporting more independent brands. I found so many on Instagram that have, you know, a small following, a little cult following, but I think that people just think when they think of makeup, all they think of are the brands that are in Sephora and Ulta. And I think there's just so, so, so many more brands, independent brands, smaller brands that people have no clue about that need love and that need the publicity and that need the support more than a lot of the designer brands that you can find in the big box stores. So I think moving forward, maybe we'll kind of, or for me, I'm going to kind of focus a little bit more on independent brands if I can find them and if they're affordable because sometimes they're at a little higher price point. So we'll see, but if you are interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know some independent brands that you like. If you found this review helpful, please give this video a big old thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell for more reviews and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, guys.